Hey beautiful people, it's Rakeen and I'm back with another video. So in this video, I want to tell you guys how to boost your credit score up 100 points in 7 days. So yes, in 7 days. A lot of people, you know, they need to just get a quick boost to their credit reports. But I want to tell you guys, and I don't want to go ahead and drag it on out. I want to tell you guys quickly how to do this. So the first thing I want you guys to do is I want you guys to sign up for kickoff. So if your credit score is really low, well, I mean like under a 650, then I want you guys to sign up for a kickoff. Now, when you sign up for a kickoff, off they're going to report to your credit reports in a week sometimes even two weeks so hopefully they'll report to your credit reports in a week but what it is is they'll loan you twelve dollars and when they loan you that twelve dollars every month they want you to pay them that a dollar back with the twelve dollars that they loaned you and they're going to report to the credit bureau that you pay on time now i told you guys about how my credit score went up 36 points and remember too my credit score is over 700s but still my credit score still went up a lot so I tell people like the 650, make sure your, your credit score is under the 650. That's because I want you guys to have like a big increase. But if your credit score is over the 650, you can still apply. But keep this in mind too. If you already have a lot of start on accounts, if your credit score is really, really high, you kind of taking a risk. I kind of had my utilization really, really high at the time when I applied. So that actually boosted my credit score up a lot. So definitely sign up for kickoff. And like I said, too, they're going to report in like a week, sometimes even two weeks. So go ahead and sign up for that kickoff. And then hopefully you'll have about the 30 points, too. Because I want to tell you, well, 35 points. I want to tell you about three things that you guys can do. Now, the second thing that you guys can do is listen to me, you guys. You guys can add a trade line to your credit report. Now, I do not suggest you guys just go ahead and just say, okay, I'm going to get these trade lines. Make sure it's with somebody that's verified. Make sure it's with a company that's reputable. I don't want you just to go and say, I'm going to get this trade line added to my credit report. I don't want you to do that. What I want you to do is I want you to find a company that is reputable and I want you to see when these accounts actually report to your credit reports. So I want you guys to pick an account that's going to report, you know, three to four days out. So say if today is the 19th, right? I want you guys to find an account that's going to probably report on the 23rd or the 22nd. That way, when you go ahead and pay for it, it's going to report right away on your credit reports. You don't have to wait. Like, say if you find an account that's going to report on the 1st, you got to wait until the 1st until they actually report to the credit bureaus. So I want you guys to sign up right away so that they can report quickly for you. They want, you want them to report immediately. And a lot of times, people get trade lines added to their credit reports. It's basically become an authorized user on somebody's credit report. On somebody's credit card, I'm sorry. But when people actually do this, people don't understand that some people's credit reports go, over, go up over 100 points. Like, literally. Depending on where your credit score is at because you're going to get their years remember i told you guys age is very important how long they had that account you want to get all their history on there on top of having all their history on there you will be able to also get that you'll be able to get that payment history but you'll be get this high limit credit card a lot of times too you can get credit cards like twenty thousand twenty five thousand thirty thousand dollar credit cards added to your credit report as an authorized user that's going to really boost your credit score up so i already know too let's count that as a minimum 35 points now the last thing that i want you guys to do is to make sure that you guys can boost your credit score up over 35 points in a month, so I want you to lower your credit card bills. I know you probably have your credit card bills really high. A lot of times people have their credit card bills really high. What I want you to do is I want you to lower that down. So if it's already at 5%, go ahead and bring it down to 3 or 2%. And if you already have your credit, because right now mine is at zero. Like I'm, I'm trying to get as many points as I can get right now. But I'm going to raise it back up just so I can I raise it back up and I'm going to drop it. I'm going to raise it back up in terms of I'm going to max my credit cards out. Well, I can't maximize too much money, but. I'm going to spend a lot of my credit cards and I'm going to pay it off. Spend a lot of my credit cards and just pay it off. Because what that does, that shows the company that they should give me an increase. And I want you guys to always ask for an increase. Like, hey, I'm spending all this money. I'm maxing out these certain credit cards. I need more money, you guys. Like, give me more money. I see I'm paying it back. And they're going to give you an increase on your credit cards. That's like a bonus that you guys can do. But if you guys have a 20% utilization right now, drop that thing down to a 5%. Watch your credit score really shoot up. A lot of people don't know, too. Like, you can get 60 70 80 points by just lowering your utilization like seriously and that's how you can actually get that 100 points in seven days you guys and remember there's other tricks out there that you guys can definitely try call or text me if you have any questions my phone number is 833 rakita and then text score to 21,000 so that you can be entered into my monthly drawing and then i will also send you a coupon so you can be able to get that 15 percent off my store and on my store store i have the letters to remove accounts from your credit reports i have my master credit card list of over 100 credit cards even two five thousand dollar credit cards that you can apply for that anybody can get approved for too is going to get added to 
to your credit reports, it's going to be $10,000 added to your credit reports. So I have my master credit card list. I have my inquiry removal. A lot of times people don't understand too. That's another bonus. Matter of fact, you can get inquiries removed from your credit reports, which is going to boost your credit score up. And that's my 12-hour inquiry removal. I was able to get my inquiries removed in four hours. So go ahead and start working on those inquiries. That can be another way you can boost your credit score up. And that can be in a day, be less than a day, you guys. So I have my inquiry removal on there. I have my utilization. If you guys need to work on your utilization. And if you guys want to get credit cards without them actually pulling your credit scores and looking at your credit reports, then I have my shopping cart trick on there, you guys. And after this video, right now, I'm going to post the second part of the video, which is going to show you how to get the Victoria's Secret credit card. You can get Victoria's Secrets Express. Overstock is giving out $4,000. You can get the good sound. A lot of people getting $1,500, $6,000 with them. But you can get the Venus credit card. You have all these different credit cards where you can get them without them actually looking at your credit reports, without them actually looking at your credit score. So if your credit score is really low, it doesn't really matter. But that video is coming up to show you how to exactly do that. And like I said, too, if you have any questions, go ahead and watch me live, join my podcast, or text me at 833-RIKITA. Thank you do is if you want to try my trick I want you to opt into factor trust so to opt into factor trust you have to go ahead and click here so this is the website I'll have it down in the description I want you to opt into factor trust so when you opt into factor trust all you're doing is telling them hey I want to get credit card offers and you have to apply you, you have to actually give them your name your address your social security number your date of birth they're kind of, they're a credit bureau so they're similar to you know TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian, those are the three major ones. But go ahead and click Submit. After you click Submit, then you want to go ahead and enter that information that I told you that you'll have to submit. Go ahead and submit that information and click Confirm. Now, when you submit this, remember, you're telling them, I want offers, so be prepared to get a lot of offers in the mail. But that's good because, remember, you're trying to build your credit score up, and for you to build your credit score, you need at least four credit cards. Now, let me show you what you can do after you actually opt in. After you opt in, then you have a chance of getting approved for credit cards without them actually checking your credit score. So let's go ahead and go to victoriasecrets.com because that's an easy website where you can just test and see if you can do that opt in you don't have to get the credit cards but you can see if you get the pop-up saying you're pre-approved without them checking your credit scores and without them actually giving you that hard inquiry so let's go to victoriasecrets.com so after we go to victoriasecrets.com i want you to put 200 to 250 dollars worth of items in your cart i already have items in my cart because i did not clear my cookies so if you try this trick and it's not working for you i want you to clear your cookies I want you to clear your cookies and I want you to go into incognito mode. And if you want me to go through that, let me just run through it really quickly. You don't have to ask. I'll just do it. Let's go ahead and click the three dots here at the top. So it's three dots at the top and go to settings. After you go to settings, I want you to put pop into the box. And I'm going to kind of go fast because I don't want to, if you already know this, I don't want to, you know, pull you through it. But I want you to go ahead and click here where you see it's highlighted with the pop. Go ahead and click there, scroll to the bottom, and you want to make sure that you click pop here, and then you allow pop-ups. You make sure that it says allowed. So make sure it says allowed on your computer. Go ahead and click enter again on pop. Let's go ahead and just put pop in again. I want you to go to clear browsing data. That's your cookies. That's when they track you. They know where you've been. So, so far, they say I've been to 169 sites. I downloaded 10 items like they know too much right <laughs> so I want you to clear your data so after you clear your data they're not going to have this information anymore so I want you to go to the Victoria's Secrets website but I want you to do it in, in, in an incognito mode I'm able to do it without incognito but I want you to see what it looks like to do it in incognito and this is actually called the shopping cart trick what we're going to be doing so I want you to put Victoria's Secrets here click Submit, click enter, and I want you to put that $200 to $250 worth of items in your cart. So I like to just go ahead and hover over sleep and go to Cami Sets. But again, it can be any $200 to $250 that you want to go ahead and pick the items. You can pick them yourself. You don't have to go ahead and follow these items, but I suggest you follow them, but you don't have to. And you can always rewind, slow it down, or whatever it takes so that you can go ahead and get this trick to work for you. So I like to click the small. And I like to get four of them. And so I get the four, the same item. I don't like to go ahead and get different items. I think it's just too much work and it's not necessary. So I want to add this to my bag. 
Now I wanna click checkout. Now, as you can see here, the items is actually only $198, but with taxes, it's gonna put me over that $200 mark, so I'm not concerned about it. So I'm gonna click checkout. After you click checkout, you wanna check out as a guest. So go ahead and click checkout as a guest. Now, I want you to go ahead and type your information in, that same information that you put into Factor Trust. I want you to put your first and last name here, your address here. I want you to put your phone number and your email address in. And the only reason why you want to put that same exact information, that's because when the Factor Trust sent your information over to these credit card companies, the only thing that they gave them was your name, your address, your phone number, and your email address so that they can mail you stuff, they can email you things, then you can get all these different offers, right? So put that same information in here, but I want to type this information in of the client that I have. So remember, you want to make sure that this is that same information. If you do not put the information in correct, then they're not going to go ahead and give you that pop-up that I'm going to show you in a second. So I'm just typing in all the information that you will have to put in so that you can get that pop-up. And keep this in mind too, there's over 60 different credit cards that allow you to get the to get credit cards without them checking your credit score. So go ahead, if you get approved for this one, if you get the pop-up, I want you to get the shopping cart trick guide in the description where you can see those 60 different credit cards. So I have all of the information put in, so I just want to verify that everything is correct so we can get the pop-up. So, so far, everything is correct. I want to click continue to delivery. So after you click continue to delivery, this is the pop-up that you're going to get. It's going to say, congratulations, you're pre-approved for the Victoria's Secret credit card. And this is the pop-up for all of the companies. You should get the same exact pop-up saying that you're pre-approved. Now, they're asking you to pick which credit card you want to get. So I always like to get the pink. If you watch this plenty of times because you're trying to master this trick, then you know I love the pink card. So I'm going to click accept now. And what they're gonna ask you for is I want you to put your date of birth here, your last four digits of your social twice, and they want you to go ahead and check this box here and click finish submit for review. So that is what they want you to put put here. And remember, after you go ahead and put this information in, they're gonna let you know, congratulations, you're pre-approved for $500. You're pre-approved for $1,000. Now, I don't suggest that you actually you know, buy the things on this. I don't suggest that you go ahead and get it. What I would do is I would just exit out. So I would click that X right there. And after you go ahead, after they tell you how much you're approved for it, they're gonna send you that card in the mail. So you can go ahead and look at my guide down in the description. It's called the shopping cart trick guide. And you'll be able to get those same credit cards that that's on that guide. And remember, they're not gonna be checking your credit score and they're not gonna be pulling your credit reports, giving you that hard inquiry. But if you have problems with hard inquiries, then go ahead and look down in the description. I have the hard inquiry removal guide also, where you can go ahead and remove inquiries from your credit reports. But yes, guys, I taught you guys the trick. So now I want you just to implement it. And remember, you wanna opt into Factor Trust. After you opt into Factor Trust, it's gonna be so many different offers coming in the mail. And now they're gonna tell these different companies that you wanna get the credit card, which is gonna make it easier for you to be able to get them. So if you have any questions, go ahead and call or text me. My phone number is 833-RAKITA. And remember, I'm always here from, for you. So you can always call or text me. You're my assistance. We definitely here for you. And if you want me to try to see if I can do this trick for you, I also have a section in the description that says, click here if you want me to try to do the trick for you. And usually that trick can be done within 24 hours so I can see if I can get you pre-approved. If you have any questions, like I said, call or text me. Make sure you subscribe, like this video, and leave a comment with your cash app so you can be entered into my monthly drawing.